Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate one of the Selenium WebDriver commands. That is, alert is present command. So, what is the purpose of this command? Let me explain. For example, we have a web application. On this web application page, there is a button here. If you click on this button, an alert will be displayed. Let me click on this button. You see, an alert got displayed. After the alert is displayed, we can perform several operations on this alert like retrieving the text that is displayed on this alert or we can accept this alert or we can dismiss the alert. But before performing any of these operations on the alert, we need to wait for this particular alert to be displayed on the page. If you try to perform these operations before the alert is displayed, there is a problem that an exception will be thrown. Okay, when you run the script, Selenium script, without waiting for the alert to be displayed and performing the trying to perform operations on the alert, we'll get such kind of exceptions. Guys. So we have to wait for the alert to be displayed. But what command we have to use for waiting for this alert to be displayed before performing the operations on the alert? Simple command is this one, guys. Alert is present command. Now I'll practically show you how to use alert is present command for waiting for an alert before performing operations. It's better to wait for the alert guys before performing directly the operations. Sometimes the alerts may take some time to dis be displayed on the page. Fine, let me show you how to use this command now, alert is present command. So here, simple thing guys, uh, I'll first uh, go to this application. The sample script will open the Chrome browser, maximize the browser and open the application like this. Once the application is open like this, I need to click on this button so that I will get the alert, right? Let me click on this uh, button. How to click on this button? I have to right click inspect this button and uh, this is ID attribute value of this button. Copy this ID attribute value. Now here say driver dot find element by dot ID. I'll click on the button. So when I click on the button, an alert will be displayed, right? When I click on this button, an alert will be displayed. But before the alert got displayed, we have to wait for the alert guys before performing any operations on the displayed alert. Now, when I click on this button, an alert got displayed. But before performing any operations on this alert, we need to wait for this alert. How to wait for this alert? For that, we have to write something like this. Web driver wait. This falls into the, this falls into the explicit wait category, guys. Web driver wait. Wait is equal to, we need to create an object for the web driver wait. New web driver wait. This process falls into the, explicit weight category this object creation and all those stuff belong to the explicit weight category for the Mozan web driver weight and import this web driver weight like this this constructor cannot be empty guys here we need to pass two things one is a web driver object that is driver we need to pass after that we need to pass how much time we need to wait for the alert let's say maximum time uh, to be waited for the alert is like 10 seconds okay so this uh, will wait for 10 seconds now using this object reference that is wait object reference i will call the until command wait dot until inside this until command i will write expected conditions and after that i have to say dot and we have to use this command that is alert is present command this statement this statement will wait for the alert to be displayed on the page fine how much time maximum time this particular thing can wait for the alert maximum 10 seconds it can wait so within 10 seconds, if the alert comes, the Selenium will proceed, okay? Selenium will not wait for the complete 10 seconds. If the alert comes in one second or two seconds, Selenium will only wait for that one or two seconds. But we are just waiting for the alert to be displayed. Once the alert is displayed, then we can perform any operations on the displayed alert. So here we have waited for the alert to be displayed. Now, once the alert got displayed, let's say I want to accept the alert. How to accept the alert for that? First, we need to switch to the alert, guys. Once the alert is displayed, once we have waited for the alert to be present, we can switch to the alert. Driver dot switch to dot using the alert command, we can switch to the alert. This will return the alert. Alert alert is equal to now over the mouse, import this alert. Now using this alert, we can say dot accept. So if you try to switch to the alert before the alert is really displayed, it will give an exception, guys. Okay. Some exception will be thrown. If you directly, if you directly try to switch to the alert before the alert is displayed on the page, it may give you some exception. In some cases, alert may take some time to be displayed on the page. So better to wait for the alert before performing any operations. Before even switching to the alert, we need to wait for the alert guys. Using this command known as alert is present command. This current session is all about 
alert is present command now once we switch to the alert once we wait for the alert and once we switch to the alert we can perform any operations one of the operations i am demonstrating here is accepting the alert now let me run the code and see whether the code is running smooth right click run as java applications so so we'll navigate to the application and we'll click on the button so that alert will be displayed and uh, we'll wait for the alert and then we'll perform the operation it was very quick that's fine we didn't get any exceptions that means this alert is present command has waited for the alert to be displayed then only it allowed us to perform the operations on the alert like accepting the alert so guys hope you understood how to use this alert is present command in selenium automation scripts so that's it guys thank you bye